Diabetes means making major life changes, and if you don't, the results can be devastating, even deadly. With 86 million people nationwide considered pre-diabetic, Dr. Lori from HCA Midwest explains what you can do to turn things around. What is the difference for people watching between type 1 and type 2 diabetes? Type 1 diabetes is generally considered to be a problem with the pancreas where it's not producing insulin. Type 2 diabetes is a situation where insulin is being produced normally, but it's just not processed normally and sugar's not processed normally out of the bloodstream. Are there people watching right now who can do something specific and concrete to reduce their risk of developing diabetes? The most important thing you can do to prevent type 2 diabetes is keep your weight down and walk every day. So you have to, number one, understand your risk factors. If there, if there are many people in your family who have diabetes, either type 1, type 2 particularly, then you have to recognize that even if your numbers are good. And we get back to what we've talked about so many times. You have to know your numbers. Know what your blood sugar is. And talk to your doctor about your risk factors. Obesity and overweight are major risk factors for type 2 diabetes. And we see this now more and more in teenagers and even middle school kids mm. as we have become a nation that's just larger and larger. And there's lots of reasons for that, public health reasons, diet. Those types of factors contribute to our eating more, getting larger, and increasing our risk for type 2 diabetes. So we're seeing an increase in tweens and teens developing type 2 diabetes that's because exactly of our diets? That's exactly right. That's absolutely right, Alexis. And what we know is that if we don't curb this trend for overweight and obesity, the diseases that we used to see that were really those of later adulthood related to diabetes, now we'll see in third and fourth decades of life. We'll see those diseases that are related to diabetes much earlier. Vision problems, chronic kidney disease, which oftentimes can be fatal heart attacks, strokes, those types of events that really were later in adulthood, now we will see earlier and earlier because the disease has had an opportunity to manifest itself from tweens to teens on. What advice would you give uh, women watching who are pregnant right now when it comes to their diet? Is there anything that a pregnant woman can do right now to reduce the risk of her baby having type 1 or type 2 diabetes? Well. When, when a woman is pregnant, the concern for her health is not to develop gestational diabetes. And they can talk to their obstetrician gynecologist about what their particular risk might be to develop diabetes themselves while they're carrying their child. Does that pass through to the child then developing it later? It not necessarily passes through. Now, there are some segments of type 1 diabetes that might be inherited. Mm -hmm. We think that how we feed our babies and our children when they're early on may predispose them to diabetes type 2 later on in, in middle school and high school. Um, insofar as these are times when good healthy eating habits are established. Mm -hmm. We've talked before about eating your colors and watching salt and, and, and being active. And these are all factors. And if those, those healthy lifestyle choices are manifested as the culture of the family when the person is young, then they have a tendency to carry through middle school, high school, and into early and mid-adulthood. It can't hurt. It certainly can't hurt, even Not, if you are genetically predisposed to have diabetes, being healthy and walking and eating can only help. Even right. walking 10 minutes a day makes a difference. Yeah. Harvard School of Public Health noted that there's decreased diabetes in people who walk just 10 minutes a day. If you need help losing weight or finding a diabetic specialist, just go to hcamidwest.com.